Hello Virgos. I'm going to lay out some cards from this deck and read them as essentially your love story for June 2022. Now, fair warning, um, I, I treat life as part of your love story, so as it impacts or influences your love story. So sometimes I end up talking about career or friends or family, and uh, so let's take a look. So you've got the Four of Pentacles, which is a card that's been showing up quite a bit in reading, so people are kind of have limited resources for dating or their love life um, going into this summer. But you have the Three of Cups, to, which to me is getting together with friends and the world. But this, this Ten of Swords, I'm going to take this as like exhausting. So it's like you go out with your friends. Um, the world could be like um, a night or um, I don't know, a day. You're going out with friends and you see the world, so to speak. So it's, if you go out, if you're going out, you don't just go to one place. You're like visiting a number of different places. Either you go to a bunch of clubs or hot spots or whatever the case may be. Um, it could be, since this kind of has the natural world focus, it could be that you um, go with friends, you go hiking in an area, you stay there for a few days potentially or whatever and you're hiking different routes. I mean, so, but you, you end up exhausted by the end. Whatever you're doing, and I think it's probably something that is actually more social than, than the hiking scenario. It's probably more likely going out with people. But that exhausts you. It's like, you know what, I've just had enough of that. And we have the Strength card, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is the power to say no and to go back into a quiet, introverted, Virgo way of being here with this Queen of Pentacles. And you're going to ask yourself, what happened? What happened? So, that has, this has me asking what happened. What happened here when you went out? with this Ten of Swords, because here we have the Five of Swords. We have the Strength, which means is you're kind of controlling your reaction to this situation. Queen of Pentacles, again, is kind of going, stepping out of the situation, going back into your personal garden with the Queen of Pentacles, your personal space. And this Queen of Pentacles is looking at the Seven of Pentacles, and asking herself, it's just asking, what happened? What happened back here? How did this get set up? To be an unpleasant experience when it should have been a pleasant experience. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, and I'm not sure if that's somebody that you talk to about this, or if it's somebody that, I think it's somebody you're accusing of causing trouble. And that this Queen of Swords, it's like you're, you're out with friends, and one of these friends may not be a false friend, but is an insecure friend. Um... And could it be a love interest? Could potentially be a love interest, yes. And this person is insecure with this Nine of Wands, is guarded, is insecure about something, and that is what results in the attack. And this Page of Rods that's coming up here, Page of Wands, to me is you like saying, I'm never going to get in a situation again where I can't walk away from whatever social situation I'm in. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in a car with friends. People I think are my friends, or whatever. I'm not gonna get in a car with them 
and be in a situation where I can't, you know, where I'm not the driver and I can't exit the situation when it could potentially go sour. So I feel like that's a commitment. Knight of Rods. And, you know, having potentially someone to call. Yeah. And again, kind of thinking about the Knight of Rods with the star. You know, if, if I get into a situation, who can I call? Wheel of Fortune. The Tower. Again, this is all like in the chariot. I feel like it's just like, it's giving me the cards for what I just talked about. <laughs> that it's like knowing that you've got a relief or you know that you've got somebody who can come in. The Knight of Rods or Wands I think of as somebody who will run in and rescue um, for misfortune with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. You know, um, Wondering if this could be you talking to somebody. Could it still be? Um, there could also be a situation in which um, this all kind of goes down at the same time. Where you're out, you know, there's some form of attack, you know, this shouldn't necessarily be physical attack, it could be verbal attack or whatever, and you restrain yourself and go into analytical mode, queen, queen of pentacles, and you see what's going on, and again, you're like, you know, I, I don't have my vehicle with me, I don't have a way to leave, but I, kn I know who to call here with this knight of rods, and this person kind of rushes in and saves you from the burning tower and then you share with them what went on with that sun card you know it's in other words you're bringing the situ you're bringing the situation to light and that and that person gets defensive on your behalf it's like they did what <laughs> what did they do yeah so for the month of june it's kind of like, be really careful about who your friends are and who you go out with. That would be, this would be a situation that it would be good that you take this reading and think of it as forewarned is forearmed. Yeah, just be careful who you go out with. Have an exit plan, a person who is your, um, and, and in this case I don't think it's even a designated driver. It's somebody that you can call to come and get you um, but my advice would be make sure that you always take your car and still cars do break down sometimes make sure you've got somebody that you can call so that um, the good friend the reliable friend that can come and rescue you and hear you out and see things your way um, yeah so that it all turns out okay in the end, which is what I get. There's, it's almost like it gets worse before it gets better. There's the tower, but then you have the chariot victory, the sun back in a, a safe place and bringing everything to light, and two people kind of talking out what happened. Um, lordy, lordy, I would not expect <laughs> such an intense reading for you Virgos but there it is there it is so yeah be careful who you're socializing with in June I hope this reading helped you um, plan for any unfortunate circumstances including false or erratic friends who can't be relied on be sure you've got that trusty person who will come uh, come to your aid in any case. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.